He was staying under this tree for a long time. Is he a nice man or a mean man? Nice man. What was his name? Mm. Peter. Mm. Where do you think he went at night? Um, um, do you know what he was doing? No, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Oh, we just talked to him and tried to figure out his life story, which was complicated and convoluted at times. Uh, you know, even if two people didn't, who were walking down this, be, between here and Union Station, didn't know each other, uh, they knew Peter. And uh, one person would stop, then another, and pretty soon uh, all three of them would be talking. Uh, he was very friendly, and you know, I feel very, very sorry, you know, what's happened to him. It was, it was really sad. It was. He's definitely so, a part of this neighborhood, and it was really quiet when he when he was gone for a couple of days. And I was like, I wonder where he is. I hope he's okay. He first he told us a bit about the conspiracy theories, how he used to work for the government, and they were doing some kind of program where they were trying to splice human and dog genes. So he affectionately in my house was called Peter Dogman Biss. And you know, if I referred to him as Peter Biss, like, oh, Peter Biss said hi or something, I'd need to clarify Peter Dogman Biss <laughs> to my husband. Um, I have no idea what he did. He used to be a taxi driver in Chicago. The, the, the dog person thing was the big story. And he said that he was like on the ground level of that and they were trying to shut him up. He spoke to me every day, which was refreshing in today's society. <laughs> you know, um, people usually don't speak to you, don't usually say good morning, hello, how you doing? And he injected a little laughter in my day. You know, he, you know, uh, he meant a lot of things like and life is so beautiful and you don't have to be rich to, to live, you know. Just be humble and good person, that's all. Anytime he saw a couple together, that was the no skinny dipping. So when he saw, him, when my husband and I actually first started dating in high school, uh, he would start saying to us, no skinny dipping. Um, for my mom, he would say, oh, it's my favorite 16 year old. And uh, he would say things about how he used to date Diana, Princess, Princess Diana in high school or something. And he would say like, you know, oh, I don't know, something like, She's nothing compared to you, or, you know, just like little nice things like that. Every, every day we see him, even my family knows him, my grandchildren know him, yeah. You know, he seemed to be such a fixture, and he always had a, a nice word to say. He always had a pleasant smile and kind words for everybody um, walking by. Peter was a friend to everybody who passed. He had a good word to say to everyone. And he was in sensitive negotiations with the Chinese ambassador, and I'm really concerned about what's going to happen now. Great guy, and yeah, I think he looked out for the whole neighborhood, too. So He definitely had an enthusiasm uh, to him, which was, uh, which was endearing. Every time he sees you, he will greet you, he will ask you your day, and he will talk to you. If he have a bad day, believe me, by the time you finish talking with you, I'm sure everything will absolutely change. We're going to miss him a whole lot. May he rest in peace. He was a good man. Where do you think he is now? In heaven. 